Welcome to Top Cell, North Carolina. And also welcome to the dunes at North Top Cell. This was our place to stay during the week we were there. It was very spacious, but we had a lot of problems with the air conditioning not cooling well enough. The beaches were beachy, sandy, and pretty vacant, especially early in the morning. That's me and my dad flying a drone. The water was cool, but not cold. Very refreshing. Since we had to wait in line a long time, we thought we would go ahead and have a little fashion shoot with the turtle girl. See down there, kind of layered, overlapping. The hawksbill is the only one of the sea turtles that has those scoops on top like that. This is a trash turtle that um, Jean had commissioned by a local artist mainly because there was an actual turtle that was on the beach that was covered with trash that people walked by. It was a sick turtle and they thought it was trash. So she had this a local artist make this, tur this trash turtle and everything on this turtle was picked up on the beach. Everything was made from beach trash. Being an artist and of course a turtle lover as well, I enjoyed the Karen Beasley Center. I kind of had envisions of it being more like an aquarium before I got inside, but really it was a lot of buckets with turtles being rehabilitated. So it's for a good cause, so no complaints from me. What you want to do when you come down to Top Cell, North Carolina is come to the Turtle Sanctuary and uh, get you a little bit of shaved ice. I always pick tiger's blood. I love this stuff since 1989. Tiger's blood is the way to go. A short distance from the Turtle Sanctuary in Surf City is a little place called Island Delights. It has some pretty cool decor. I thought I was in the movie Big with Tom Hanks. My daughter really enjoyed seeing the fortune teller. My wife and I were a little more interested in the perfume dispenser that was inside the women's restroom. We tried it and it worked, but it made her smell terrible. Terribly good. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Each evening we would have a wonderful cooling storm that would roll in on the island. It was almost every single evening. It kind of gave us a break away from the really hot and humid conditions during the week. It was also beautiful. But then again, each morning we were greeted with another beautiful sunset and another warm and sunshiny day full of fun and family. North Carolina. I think we would definitely visit this location again sometime. If you're ever interested, check it out. Mr. Maynard, 77.